Hello, Agent Star Butterfly here, and I'm here today to do my review on The Living Daylights. So, this is the 15th Bond movie, and this is the final Bond movie should be rated PG. And it tells the story about the Agent 007 who wants to find a way to found out in a new location and then they met with the new Bond girl to fell in love with her and it's basically the espionage mission while trying to defeat the villain at the end during the climax and that's basically the plot for the entire film. So what have I heard of The Living Daylights? It is pretty good, which is the very first Timothy Dalton Bond era for a film which is its duology. So, I just watched that online for free at a time in the noon, and then what do I think of it? It is pretty good. The story is good, the writing is decent, and the espionage action scenes are really epic. And the characters, we have James Bond. He is amazing, which is played by Timothy Dalton. And later on, here in 2010, Pixar debuted Tim, I mean, Timothy Dalton, who voiced of Professor Pricklepants in Toy Story 3. And then we have the new Bond girl. She's amazing, including the villain. The villain looks really intense. And here we have M. M looks awesome. Q looks amazing. The rest of the characters are really amazing. And especially some of the songs in the opening sequence. We have The Living Daylights, performed by... <laughs> what a fantastic song! Including the end cred song looks really amazing. So no negatives and no issues. Overall, The Living Daylights is a pretty good Bond film to celebrate the 25th anniversary to James Bond. And it came out in 1987 that I have to give this movie an 8 out of 10. It is a good film. And tell me, what do you think of The Living Daylights? Let me know in the comments and tell me what do you think. And stay tuned for more Bond reviews coming soon, which is License to Kill. If you want to see more videos to my YouTube channel, click subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and goodbye!